So we're here for the uh, baptism of Asher William Uselman for all those who are watching with us. We'll begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, your family has experienced great joy at the birth of your child, and the church shares your happiness. Today, this joy has brought you to the church to give thanks to God for the gift of your child and to celebrate a new birth by the waters of baptism. This community rejoices with you. For today, the number of those baptized in Christ will be increased, and we offer you our support in raising your child in the practice of the faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to, to participate in this celebration, listening to God's word, praying for this child and his family, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and his people. What name do you give your child? Asher William. And what do you ask of God's church for Asher William? Baptism. In asking for baptism for your child, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising him in the faith, so that keeping God's commandments, he may love the Lord and his neighbor as Christ taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? Yes. God parents. Are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty? We are. Asher William, the Church of God receives you with great joy. In her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross of, our, of Christ our Savior. Then after me, your parents and godparents will do the same. practice, you can do that every day, okay? every week before he goes to bed and every night, and do that to each other, as husband and wife, it's a great practice. Okay. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd, shepherd there is nothing I shall want. want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me, he revives my soul. The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd, shepherd there is nothing I shall want. want. He guides me along the right path for the sake of his name. Though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Your crook and your staff will give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a table before me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for length of days unending. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the Pharisees, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, 
You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Okay, so um, we, uh, with baptism, this is a really beautiful moment. This is a, a marked moment in Asher's life. This is the moment that he is washed free from the sin that's attached from Adam and Eve, that, that original sin that all of us have. And what that means is then when we stand before Jesus at the end of our life, Jesus can say, ah, you know, you're marked as one of my brothers and one of my sisters. And then, so we're washed free from that original sin. We're given access to heaven through Jesus because of his death on the cross. Because Jesus conquered over death, then we, when we get to our death, we can say, I'm going to make it past this. <laughs> I'm going to make it through it. God is in the rescuing of that moment. And then um, he is made a child of God in this moment. He's adopted by God the Father, which means he can call God his Father the rest of his life. When we pray the Our Father, that's what we're doing. He is now a member of the body of Christ, which means that everything that he will do with his life can be shared with Jesus. So every um, good deed and action that he does is an action of Jesus in the world. And every moment of suffering that he undergoes is united with Jesus on the suffering of the cross for others. And what we're doing is we're getting ourselves ready for heaven. And everything about the teaching of loving your neighbor and loving God with everything of who you are, I want you to think about when you get to heaven, this is for the young ones, this makes sense, okay? Think about this. When you get to heaven, is there any room in heaven for having a really bad day and being grumpy? Probably not, right? Is there any room in heaven for holding on to a grudge? Probably not. Is there any room in heaven for being uh, violent with one another, causing hatred and evil towards one another? No, it has to be weeded out of us. And so things like going to Mass every weekend, what it does is it wears us down with our selfishness and it says, I'm going to go to Mass, I'm going to be faithful to God, I'm going to be in relationship with God, I'm going to love God with everything of who I am, because when I get to heaven, we're going to do that all the time. We're going to pray and be in relationship with God all the time. And all of the training we do on earth is preparation for that. Loving our neighbor, learning to love one another so we can stand being around one another. And this is why I said to the young ones, all the times that your mom and dad say to them, Stop being mean to your brother and sister. Give each other a hug. Say you're sorry. Be, you know, work it out. Love one another. Because, again, even if we had a little tiff in heaven, um, it would just immediately be resolved because we look out for one another. And if you think I'm really talking to the little kids in the room, mostly I'm talking to the big kids. <laughs> okay? So this is life. This is real life. This isn't just simply, oh, I love Jesus, and that's it. This is about a whole life commitment in baptism to getting ready to go to heaven and be in heaven. And this is the initial starting point. This is our initiation ritual as we do this. Okay, so lots of things happen in the moment of baptism, made a child of God, adopted, washed free from sin, and then he's given strength by the Holy Spirit uh, to be able to live out the life of holiness every day. All right. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for this child about to receive the grace of baptism and for his parents, godparents, and all the baptized. Give this child new birth in baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection and join him to your holy church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Make him a faithful disciple and witness to your gospel through baptism and confirmation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lead him through the holiness of life to the joys of the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Make his parents and godparents a shining example of the faith to this child. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep his family always in your love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of baptism in each of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
now we're going to ask the people who are in heaven already, the saints, to pray with us and uh, be with us and pray for Asher in this moment. So you can say, pray for us as, after each of these invocations. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us. us. Saint John the Baptist, pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, Pray for us. Now the prayer of exorcism and then the anointing after that. Almighty and ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race rescued from darkness into the marvelous light of your kingdom, we humbly beseech you to free this child from original sin, to make him a temple of your glory, and to grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in him. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the strength of Christ the Savior protect you. As a sign of this, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So put a little cross on his upper chest if you want. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on this child by water and the Holy Spirit. This is the blessing of the water. O God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water your creation to show forth the grace of baptism, O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the water so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to sh pass dry shod through the Red Sea so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan was anointed with the Holy Spirit and as he hung upon the cross gave forth water from his side along with blood and after his resurrection commanded his disciples go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature, created in your, in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism and death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the child you have presented is about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring him up in the faith so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in him day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which children are baptized. So I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do and all his empty show. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. 
This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Is it your will, therefore, that Asher William should receive baptism in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you? It is. When you're ready, we'll uh, lean Asher over the water here. Do baptism. Asher, Asher William, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good job. There's a Holy Spirit hiccup. <laughs> Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, so that you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king, into eternal life. Amen. Asher William, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment be a sign to you of your Christian dignity, with your family and friends to help you by word and example bring it unstained into ever everlasting, into eternal life. Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly, so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light, and persevering in the faith, may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. Now I'm going to uh, touch his uh, ears and his mouth, okay? May the Lord Jesus, who made the deaf to hear and the mute to speak, Grant that you may soon receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. Baptized in Christ, you are clothed with Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Good. Dear brothers and sisters, this child reborn into bab through baptism is now called a child of God, for so indeed he is. Through confirmation, he will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and approaching the altar of the Lord, he will share the table of, of his sacrifice and will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. Now in his name and in the spirit of adoption as sons and daughters, which we have all received, let us pray together as the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord... The Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers. As the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children, may he graciously bless the mother of this child, so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her child, she may always remain united with him in thanksgiving. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. 
May the Lord of God Almighty, the giver of life, both in heaven and on earth, bless the father of this child, so that together with his wife, they may, by word and example, prove to be the first witnesses of the faith to their children in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. May the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given us new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful here present, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people, and may he bestow his peace on all who are here in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may go in peace. Thanks be to God. Go. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Anything you want to say to the folks on the camera? You can if you want to, otherwise I'll shut it off. Thanks everybody for checking in.